Okay, to save cucumbers, as you see, you can see these cucumbers are all yellow. Wouldn't eat them, don't recommend eating them, they will be gross, but they're good for seed. So what we're gonna do is, and I've already done it to one, two, three, three cucumbers, is take the cucumber, you take your knife, you run it in just long enough to score it, but not into the center. And you take the cucumber, you flip it over. You got to make sure they're yellow. If they're green, the seeds won't be any good. So you can see the score line here. You can obviously the score line there. Take the cucumber, two hands. You can either twist it, and this one's going to be tough, so I'm going to break it or break it. Cucumbers that are ready, if you break them with the seam, the seeds will stay in and divide into three parts like this. Just take a regular tablespoon and you scoop the seeds, pulp, and the attaching membrane all out into a bowl. Okay, because I'm going to do a short video. Eh, I'll do both sides. Not a big deal. Take it. Put that away. You're going to throw that away. Don't eat it. <laughs> it will be sour and you will not like it. So you take it, scoop all the seeds, guts, everything out. Seeds are pretty big. Get it cleaned out pretty well. Then take your stuff, mash it up a little bit with your hands. Yeah, it's gross. Then you get a ladle. You go and you get yourself a ladle or something to put it into a jar with. Take it, ladle it. Get all the guts and innards and centers and stuff out. Fill it about halfway up. I have two jars over here. That's about good. Take the rest of it and put the rest of it in the other jar. Yeah, I'm making a mess. By the way, my wife hates it when I do this because it makes a mess. These are straight eights, so they should have been about a quarter of that size and green to pick and eat. Since I'm going to use them for seeds, let them go to yellow and uh, turn between, between half and fully yellow, as you can see the ones on the table between half and fully yellow now you're gonna mix you're gonna put regular tap water in there about as much as you have seed mix or the seed innards in it so up to here on this one and up to probably the top of the letters on this one and let it ferment for one to three days until it smells like um, slightly fermented cucumber salad. Take them out, get you a really fine sieve. By then, all the goo that's around the seeds will broke down, and most of the seeds will come out of the membrane where it was stuck. Take them, put them on a paper plate, on a paper towel, and let them dry, and when you're done, when they're dried, they take about a week to 15 days to dry. Take your seeds out, make sure they're separated and not stuck together, and store them in your freezer until next season. And that's how you do it.